Here's an example of induced current and induced EMF. A magnet is poked north pole first into a solenoid. Determine the direction in which the induced current flows and whether the magnet and the solenoid attract each other or repel each other. The first thing I'm going to do is copy the diagram and then we add the magnetic field lines to the magnet. We then need to use Lenz's law to figure out the induced magnetic field and the induced current. The magnetic field of the magnet points to the right. As we poke the magnet in, the flux increases. This means that the induced magnetic field, which opposes the change in the external magnetic field, will have to point to the left. To find the direction of the induced current, I place my right thumb to the left along the induced magnetic field and I watch how my right fingers are curling. They point into the page in the top part of the solenoid and they point out of the page in the bottom part of the solenoid. So we have the direction of the induced current. Using the direction of the induced magnetic field, I can also determine the magnetic poles of the solenoid. I know that the magnetic field lines should leave the solenoid from the north pole and enter the solenoid again through the south pole. This means that the north pole is on the left side of the solenoid and the south pole is on the right side of the solenoid. And since it is the north pole of the magnet that is going into the solenoid, north and north repelling each other means that the magnet and the solenoid are, are repelling each other. There we go! Spread the joy of physics!